Hey guys, it's Vidin Flo here. Welcome to my channel. Now in today's video, we're talking about Canva. Did you know that you can actually schedule your post right inside of Canva? So recently I've decided that I wanted to be a little bit more consistent with posting on our business page as well as my personal page. And I just didn't know how to be able to do that efficiently without obviously spending a lot of my time creating that content as well as manually posting on each of those platform every single day. So obviously I got into research and trying different content planners or content calendars. And for some reason they were all charging an arm and a leg to manage more than two platforms or two channels. Some of them do allow you to have one channel for free. However, when you start managing more than two channels, channels you have to start paying one of those platforms that i actually tried out was buffer which was really good to be honest it did allow me to post on one of the channels as many times i think up to 10 posts a month which was quite a good amount however i also wanted to post sometimes on my personal page or at least on other channels that i do run and you had to pay extra like ten dollars i think per month extra i'm already paying for so many softwares i don't even know how many softwares i'm paying for but i just didn't want to add an additional whether it be a dollar or ten dollars i really didn't want to add more because i just already have too much software and then i come to find out that actually canva does have a content planner inside it and you know i'm already a canva subscriber i've been subscribed to canva for years i've been I don't think I've ever canceled Canva since I joined Canva. And so I thought, you know what, why not find out what, you know, Canva can do for me? And then it actually turns out that Canva actually does allow you to have more, a lot of channels. Like you can have as many social media channels as you can with their paid subscription. So I just want to say that if you're already using Canva for content creation or for making your business, you know, flyers and pamphlets, I would say that it's actually much more beneficial for you to just have the Canva subscription because Canva does have so many other features in their paid version that would actually save you even more money and make you become a little bit more creative than you having different multiple subscription with other platform. Reason I'm saying this is because Canva does have things like Dream Lab where you can generate AI images. You would also have access to their image assets, like a little bit larger library than the free version. You also do have the screen recording in, in Canva as well as obviously editing videos and editing photos in there. So I feel like you do have a lot of things to benefit. So yeah, so that's pretty much what I wanted to make this video about. The reason why I would recommend using Canva content calendar, besides the fact that you actually do have a lot of channels is that you don't have to download your content that you've just created in Canva and then having to re-upload it in those you know third-party platforms it's just a long way and I feel like it's just a time waster and what I realized with those platforms even though they do allow you to obviously upload directly from Canva I realized that it wasn't actually letting me go to my projects it will only show the recent but in Canva you can actually upload it from the recent as well as the the project or the folder where you kept it so I feel like that's another reason why I, I like the Canva content planner than using those third party platform. So I don't want to waste too much time. I just want to go straight to showing you guys how you can do that in Canva so that you can actually start taking advantage of this feature because it will save you time as well as money just in case you, you, you're wondering how do I stay efficient in terms of posting on social media and etc. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to just randomly create a, I guess I'm going to create a Pinterest post here. I guess maybe this size and perhaps let's say that I am creating a post on let's say i'm posting this on my social media here and i'm just gonna say something like elegant jewelry yeah i don't know i'm just gonna post this right and so i've created this obviously post for my linkedin what i normally do personally i usually just automatically save it to the folder or at least the channel where I'll be posting this for. So obviously I've made it with the intention to post it on LinkedIn. So I'm going to move it to a folder called LinkedIn. So I usually go to my projects and then I'll look for, so not LinkedIn, sorry, Pinterest. So I'll look for Pinterest and then I'll look for the channel where I normally post this content, this type of content. So I do have my business one and I do have my personal one. So I'm just going to choose my personal one here and I'm just going to move that there. So that at least if I'm looking for it, it's not randomly everywhere it's actually in the place where i normally would post okay so now that we're ready to schedule this post what we have to do is come up here to the menu again and then all you have to do is just go to this apps section and then you just have to go down and then you need to look for this content planner okay you would click on that 
and then you'll see the content planner. As you can see, we're in November and I've definitely been trying out, you know, posting on Pinterest as well as my other platforms here. Um, so for that post that we just created, let's say you're ready to schedule it to post maybe sometime next week. Let's say you're ready to post it on the 6th of December. All you have to do is just come up here and press this plus icon. And then all you have to do is just select your recent post. I am 100% sure that this is my recent post. As you can see, even when I hover it, it says elegant jewelry. Now, if you want, you can click here and then you can use the post from here. Otherwise, let's say it's actually not on your recent and maybe you've actually created this post a long time ago and it's actually not showing up on this recent section here. What you can do is you can actually select here on your project to find it where you have actually saved this uh, post. So what I'll do is I normally click on your project and then I'll go on to my Pinterest projects and then I'll go to the channel where I would post this type of content, which is fit and flow. And then I'll be able to find the post here. Okay. So as you can see, it doesn't actually show the image, but it will show sooner because we literally just made this post and it's pretty much trying to generate this thumbnail for us to see. But when you click on it, the image will pop up. Okay. So I'll click on it and then then you can see that this is the image that we did create earlier on. So essentially what you need to do when you're ready to post is obviously uh, select where you want to post it. So I'm going to select that I want to post it on my Pinterest here. Uh, but again, if you want to add a new channel, let's say you don't have any channels here. All you have to do is select a channel, press this plus icon here, and then you can select which channel you want to add. And then you would click on it. And then obviously you would add a new channel. OK, however, I already have these channels that I already have going on. So I'm just going to select the ones that I've already put in. But if this is your first time, you need to actually log into your account and then connect it here. OK, so I'm going to post it on Fit and Flow and I'm going to post it on the Women Fashion Inspo board. OK, so that's what I'm going to post it. And I'm just going to say the title is Elegant Jewelry. And then you can just write the description here. And then you can obviously put the destination website, which is usually perhaps maybe the website where you would buy this jewelry or perhaps maybe your brand website. I'll just put fitandflow.com. And then make sure that you select the date and time when you want this post to actually be posted. So I don't want it to be posted at 12 a.m. So I'm going to change that to, I guess, let's say maybe nine in the morning. So normally this time usually default to the time when you're actually posting it. So right now it's obviously the 1st of December and I'm recording this video literally at midnight at 12.01 a.m. That's why it had that time here. However, you need to change the time that you would normally perhaps maybe get more traffic or when you would actually like this post to be posted. Once I'm happy with the post, I've got my title, I've got my description. I had to obviously confirm the channel that this is actually Fit and Flow account and it's going to go on this board. And then I've got my website. When people click on it, it will take them to my website and then I just have to schedule that. OK, so now the post is scheduled for the 6th and you can see that I do have all these posts lined up. So that's pretty much how you would use the calendar. Now, if you're in an industry where you guys have, you know, special days where you celebrate certain things, you can definitely add that in the calendar. For example, things that people normally celebrate are like Christmas for Christian people or perhaps, uh, you know, Ramadan day for Muslim people. So if you're in healthcare, for instance, you have this type of day. And I do have a lot that I have put in here for me to remember as someone in healthcare. So to add this here, all you have to do is just press the add event in a calendar. And then you can just put, you know, the, the date or whatever the event is. For example, there's this are you okay day, right? Are you okay day? You would put a description of what it is if you want. And then you obviously select the date when this day is celebrated. And then you would obviously have it there. Okay. Sometimes these type of important dates are already pre uh, put in by Canva, things like New Year's, Christmas Day, Black Friday, they're already in there because they're very popular and they apply to pretty much any industry. So Canva will already kindly have them in there. However, things that are personal to you, things that are important to you, you do need to put them in there. Something that I'll probably put in here is probably like people's birthday as well. So if you've got special people in your life and you want to remember their birthday, perhaps you want to send them a card and you want to, I don't know, design something for them, you can actually put it in there so that you can remember. However, for me personally, because I'm in healthcare, I I do want to remember important healthcare dates. For example, the International Day of Persons with Disabilities is important to me. You know, the Human the Human Rights Day is important to me. So I want to remember these dates and I want to maybe perhaps share something in regards to those events and whatever is being remembered on that day. So I'm having that added to my calendar. So I'll leave it here for now. I'm sure there's probably more you can do in Canva, but I just really wanted to show you guys that this is 
quite possible in Canva. If you're somebody like me who was looking somewhere else for a content planner or a content management platform, just know that Canva does have it. And if you're not a subscriber to Canva, I'll probably recommend it because at least you have everything in one platform and you don't have to keep downloading and, you know, undownloading things. It just makes sense to have everything concise and in one place. So hopefully this video has been helpful. Obviously on this channel, we're all about finding efficient way to do things, to make sure that things actually fit and flow well so that you can obviously have more time on your hands to do the things that you love. Again, if you do like this content, please leave a like button and follow for more.